Hello, I'm Milton Bradley and this is my friend Henning Bear. Together we are performing as K209. K209 is a collaboration between us. We started it around uh, four or five years ago. We met in his studio and we were jamming a bit and we did one track together. So and we decided to release this track on a label called K209. Um, K209 is actually the number of the room where it all started. When we started the project there was no like master plan of, of okay, this, these and that are the steps we want to take with the project. I discovered uh, this kind of music, electronic music, quite early in the late 80s. And before that I was listening to, the, to different kinds of music. I was mostly listening to metal music when I was a teenager. And before that yeah, I was just listening to every stuff. I have actually a pretty intense hip-hop background. I was listening and I always quote this a lot to uh, Wu-Tang. I listen to like KRS-One and uh, Jurassic 5 and stuff. Um, but basically, as far as I can remember, I would say it was like around 11, 12, 13 when I got in touch with Techno for the first time because my sister is eight years older and she went to like big raves in Germany. So, um, yeah, techno has as part of my musical life, yeah. I think Berlin is quite popular because of, we have a lot of clubs and a lot of events and uh, we don't have any restrictions by law. There are no closing times, we can open 24 hours. And uh, Berlin was always a bit special because of uh, when the wall came down in 1989, there was some kind of a certain freedom because the East police didn't know what to do right now and the, also the West police didn't know what to do right now. So there was some kind of anarchy. So that was a perfect place for the new breeding subculture. The history of Berlin and not all, only the musical, like or when we talk about techno, in general, like the, the subculture scene, I think in Berlin has always been very strong and very inspiring to artists, and and um, it's a it's a melting pot of of individuals that maybe might not function in other cities because in Berlin um, you feel a very intense freedom to do whatever you want. Don't feel that the pressure of society. I mean. We, 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 it's not that long ago that we released the last record on the label, so this is actually pretty fresh and we try to give each release as much space to find to the people or that people find to the releases. So of course we're planning a fifth release and, and both of us are working on, on solo projects and remixes and stuff, producing music always a part of that like artistic identity.